Good morning. I hope this daily connection finds you well on this Tuesday morning. Um, in the background, I have my partner in crime, Michael, who is working on his uh, little activities. So if you hear some binging and bleeping in the background, that's who that is, as well as homework taking place in the other room. How about you? How's your household holding up these days? Um, I wanted to share with you a story that I was reading in um, one of my publications that I go to. It's called The Christian Century. And Peter W. Mar Marty, the editor and publisher, was writing in this edition on April 8th, 2020, about um, the importance of natural resources and how human relationships are going to be considered a natural resource especially in a time such as this where we find ourselves so separated from one another and doing the best that we can in connecting uh, virtually, but there is still something to be said about the human touch um, that we are so much longing for and missing. So a natural resource of human relationships. And he shares in this, in his, um, in his um, writing, about an individual whose life witness comes to mind as inspirational hope in a crisis. And his name is Martin Reinhardt, and he lived between 1586 and 1649. Reinhardt was a gifted musician at several prominent churches in Saxony, Germany, before turning to the pastorate. He then served as pastor to the people of Elenburg for 30 years before his death, years that almost exactly overlapped with the dreadful Thirty Years' War. Because it was a walled-off city, refugees from the surrounding countryside besieged by invasions of the Swedish military poured into Elenburg. It didn't take long for famine and pestilence to set in. In 1637 alone, 8,000 people died of disease, including other clergy, most of the town council, and Reichardt's own wife. Reichart was left to minister to the entire city, sometimes preaching at burial services for as many as 200 dead in one week. Known as a faithful and caring pastor, he gave away everything he owned except for the barest essentials to care for his family. In the depths of the communal suffering that surrounded him, Reichart wrote a hymn text with words now familiar to many of us. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices, who wondrous things have done, in whom this world rejoices. And in another verse, Reichardt speaks of a bounteous God staying near us through our anxiety. Keep us all in grace, and guide us when perplexed, and free us from all harm, in this world and in the next. It's a hymn worth coming back to, Marty writes when COVID-19 fears force us to hole up at home and wonder when we'll see our most precious natural resource fully restored. And I couldn't agree with him more. I hope that God's light and love continue to be with you. I hope that you're healthy and safe, and I'll see you tomorrow.